Clustering is a common problem among information workers. Faced with a large pile of items, documents, or data records, their task is to group things into categories. Here, a user is manually clustering 60 academic conference papers. Even though this is a fairly modest number, it took most of our users more than an hour to complete the task. Users faced with such tasks are often in desperate need of machine assistance, especially when overwhelmed by large numbers of items, but applying automatic clustering is generally not that helpful. This is because such algorithms make implicit or explicit assumptions about what items should be grouped together, which may not be well aligned with a user's own notion of appropriate groupings. To address this scenario, we have developed iCluster, an interactive and adaptive system which learns how items are related from the user's actions and groupings, and then provides appropriate recommendations. This is the iCluster interface, which can be used to group arbitrary types of data using trading card representations for each item. In this case, I'm trying to sort hundreds of papers from the CSCW conference into groupings for a survey paper I'm writing on the area. I can move the items by just clicking and dragging. The front of each card shows me the title and authors for the paper. I can also double click to find out more information, such as the paper's abstract. I start looking through the individual papers and notice that there are several papers on the topic of instant messaging. I create a new cluster and put these items into the cluster. I can also name the cluster so I can remember what it's about. I then notice that there's another couple of papers that are on the topic of gaming, and I put those into another cluster. I can also use the search bar to find other papers that are related to this topic. Here, I enter the keyword games, which gets some more papers about the gaming topic. Now that I have a few items in a couple of clusters, the system starts to help me with recommendations. When I grab a paper on games, the system recommends that I put it into the gaming cluster. I can also click on the suggest button for a particular cluster, and it'll show me the items that would best match that group. In this case, it suggested a couple of papers for the instant messaging cluster which are good fits, but not everything is a good match. This is because the group is still fairly small. The more items I add to the group, the better iCluster's model of that group becomes, and the better the suggestions will become. I've now jumped forward 15 minutes to where I've already grouped many items into clusters. At this point, I may want to remind myself what I've filed into a cluster, so I can click on the Expand button to take a look inside. I can now easily leaf through all the items I've put in this cluster on healthcare-related papers. Also, now that I have more items, when I click on the Suggest button, I get much more sophisticated recommendations. For instance, here's a paper on medication, here's one on moving patients around, here's one on nutrition. So it's now getting at subtle aspects of the cluster that go way beyond what simple keyword searches could find. In other words, the further I get in my sorting task, the more helpful iCluster suggestions become, and the faster I can get my work done.